a mine-resistant truck manufactured by the Defense Industries Organization, DO, named Tufan is about to enter service with the Revolutionary Guard, IRGC, this year. The vehicle subscribes to characteristics found in similar models like a bulletproof hull and high ground clearance. Upon closer inspection the Typhoon unveiled by Iran's Defense Ministry in late November is a copy of the street group's own Typhoon MRAP. <music> Photos released by Iranian state media showed an active production line for the Tufan, which shouldn't be confused with a similar vehicle from Azerbaijan, proving once again how resilient Iran's military industries are. The Tufan isn't exactly as new as Iranian propaganda insists. Photos of it circulated in social media as far back as 2016 and curious Iranians even snapped posters listing its specifications. It has been found out the Tufan runs on a Russian diesel engine and is an almost exact replica of the original Typhoon, with seating for eight passengers and two crew. The few differences between the Tufan and Typhoon are superficial, such as the location of a spare tire on the former's hull. But Street Group, which has production sites in several countries, has spoken out against the Tufan and is exploring legal options for redress. Details shared by company representatives revealed their Typhoon model was copied and specific features such as the bumper were changed. The extent of industrial espionage committed by Iranian agents on street groups' property hasn't been ascertained, but its outcome is now being hailed by the state's propaganda machine. Promotional video clips shared by Iranian state media showed a convoy of Tufans driving across open terrain with ease its chassis does have an independent suspension system supporting runflat tires. The press conference to announce its existence did show a row of vehicles, totaling five parked inside a factory. Each Tufan had a roof hatch for mounting a turret. The only armed Tufan shown by Iranian media has a Chinese 14.5mm machine gun. Its role was described as a protected transport for counter-terrorism, which makes sense when the IRGC is battling Kurdish separatists in the country's northwest and drug cartels in the southeast. The Tufan isn't the DO's first attempt at an MRAP, however. In previous decades state-owned vehicle factories managed to churn out wheeled protected transports, but these were inferior when compared to similar efforts by Iran's neighbors. One example is the short-lived Raksh 4x4 that could support a 23mm anti-aircraft gun on a roof turret. But it was only made in limited quantities with a small number exported to Sudan. Another poor effort was cannibalizing a Soviet VTR-60 to fit a 4x4 chassis. Iran's military industries enjoyed more success with unarmored tactical vehicles like the Safford Jeep, whose combat record is formidable, and the R is a rash pickup truck. But the DO's output for locally made equipment and weapons is far from impressive. While various subsidiaries helped assemble hundreds of Russian T-72's tanks in the 1990s, the total reached 538 to augment the Ardish depleted armor fleet, mass-producing troop carriers like the Bora and self-propelled artillery weren't as successful. While the defense ministry's hyperbole regarding its technological prowess is sometimes dubious, other efforts do live up to the hype. The Tufan looks like a valuable asset for the IRGC with its ballistic protection, either Stanag 2 or 3 making it impervious to 7.62x 39mm and 7.62x 51mm rounds, better understood as AK-47s and light machine guns. Whether a remote weapon station and thermal cameras, there's a small CCTV camera above the windshield, in fact, are added soon is up to the DO. The rod was unveiled in a ceremony held at the Defense Industries Organization in Isfahan and attended by Defense Minister Brigadier General Amir Hatami, as well as senior officers from the Land Forces, Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, and police. Brig Gen Hatami said the MRAP is a more advanced version of the Tufan, according to the statement released by the Ministry of Defense. He added that it has a monocoque chassis with a V-shaped hull that makes it highly resistant to mines, roadside bombs, and anti-tank weapons. 
when it was officially unveiled in November 2018, the Tufan was said to be an Iranian design, even though it was a copy of the Typhoon MRAP made by the Street Group, which is based in the United Arab Emirates. The Tufan was also a 4x4 vehicle, while the rod has three axles. It was also announced during the event that the RS-2 tactical vehicle was being delivered to the armed forces, with Brig Gen Hatami saying it was a significant improvement on earlier models in terms of its off-road capability, range, power-to-weight ratio, and ability to carry weapons. He added that a large number would be delivered to the military 